Hey guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom. I am doing a bathroom closet organization video today. Um, so I did a video on this exact closet, but I think it was like a couple years ago. I know it was well over a year ago, maybe like a year and a half. Um, and I'm pretty sure the last time I did this exact video, these shelves weren't done. Or I know they weren't painted, but I don't think they were done. So just a little quick backstory. We have been living in our house for just over two years. I think it's been like two years and two months. And this is a very old home. It was built in the 50s, so it was a completely flipped house. So we moved in, turnkey, it was completely flipped. Every single thing in this house was gutted and redone. So um, this closet was a disaster when we moved in. The closet itself was here, but it had two shelves in the entire closet. One shelf was like right there, and then one was like right there. It made no sense. So there was like huge, empty, wide open spaces that you couldn't use. So my husband ripped all the shelf, the two shelves out and reconfigured it. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, and then we have this huge storage area on the bottom. This closet is huge. It definitely takes away from the size of the bathroom usable space, but I'll take it because it's still a good size bathroom. The shower's here. The sink is right here. It's a decent size sink for a single sink. Um, and I keep the things we use most often in here. So in the cabinet is just like cleaning products. Um, I'm just going to do a quick overview. Dental care, extra toothbrush heads, um, my son's like flossers, our flosses, and extra tooth toothpastes are in there. And here is just like lashes, makeup and stuff, wipes, a brush. It's just pretty easy, simple, Q-tips, cotton rounds, stuff like that. And then down here I just have um, overflow makeup in here that I really don't use. I actually really haven't been wearing very much makeup at all during quarantine. And then on top, next to the toilet, on top of this like stand, this is all of our like body and hair products that we use on a regular basis. So like deodorant, lotions, um, hair, you know, different hair products that I reach for pretty much like daily. So I just keep those out. And then in here I just have like feminine products, some extra toilet paper. There's like extra loofahs, I think, like extra bath loofahs. And then again, just like feminine products and stuff in here. So that just works out perfectly there in that corner. And then here is where I keep all of our householdy beauty cosmetic supplies. Um, it, might, it might look like a lot. I did just restock this over the period of the past couple of weeks because I knew a, I needed to, and B, I thought it would be a good opportunity to film an updated video. Um, so again, it might look like a lot. We go through this. We use everything that's in here. Um, and I like to keep a stocked household, which most of you guys know if you've been following me for a while. So starting off on the very top shelf, I've got toilet paper, toilet paper. So there's like a couple six packs there, um, a smaller thing there, some extra Scott rolls, some Kleenex or some tissues. That is a shower radio that we got like a couple years ago. We've never even used it. It's like a Bluetooth waterproof radio. I really should just give that to my brother or like try and sell it for a couple bucks or give it away because we, <clears throat> we never use it. Um, in this bin here, I have a bunch of travel makeup cosmetic bags a whole bunch. Let me see if I can pull this out without creating an avalanche. So look, it's just clear travel bags, clear like the TSA approved bottles, anything travel cosmetic bag related. I just keep in there and it lives in that corner until we pull it out. And this caddy here um, are things like Neosporin, uh, cortisone, like this kind of stuff, guys. Cortisone, Neosporin, um, this kind of stuff, like hand relief. This is um, like a hand cream. So it's like specific creams for healing or there's like a healing balm here. Um, hand creams, it's like hand, you know, first aid kind of creams in this caddy. These two bins are first aid um, and it's really nothing too exciting. So things like cough drops, Dayquil, aspirin, um, Alka-Seltzer for cold, you know, for cold and flu, uh, that type of thing. And then there is some like band-aids and bandages and stuff in here, you know, allergy medicine, just things like that from the drugstore. 
I've got night quill, two night quills, and two day quills in here, which thankfully we haven't had to use. This day quill is might need to be thrown out, I don't know how old it is. Some Vaseline in here. My husband gets a lot of cracks and cuts on his hands, so he likes that. And I actually like it sometimes as like a lip balm in the winter. So those just live here because the night quill and day quill, I don't wanna put in these bins because I'm afraid they'll like spill out and leak all over and make a sticky mess. This little caddy here is for wound care, like a specific caddy for wound care. Um, so it's got like wound wash, gauze, tape, cloth tape. Um, for a couple reasons. One, my husband again works in construction. He's constantly getting cut, splinters, slicing his fingers, slicing whatever. My son is a boy. He is, we're always outside doing things. It's just inevitable. So I like to just have this so I can pull it out when somebody's caught, even myself. I cut my hands sometimes and burn my hands. So we just kind of keep this in this caddy and hope we don't have to use it, but unfortunately the reality is sometimes we do have to use it so it's ready to go and stocked. In this metal crate, I've got backup Q-tips, Dixie cups for like mouthwash, taking pills or medicine, and then I have a backup um, cotton round, like eye makeup remover pads in here. So they're kind of all the same size, like shape, um, oblong sort of, so I just keep them in there and I like everything to be kind of clean and uniform and have its own space, which most of you already know this. This is my everyday makeup, although like I mentioned, I really haven't been wearing makeup because I work from home and I don't really feel the need to have to wear it. But I do keep everything in this clear um, caddy. I've had this caddy a few years. I got it from TJ Maxx, so I've just got like brushes, makeup setting spray, my CC Plus cream, you know, primers, and then concealer, just your basic you know, everyday makeup. I always keep my allergy medicine and my nasal cord next to it because every morning I take my allergy pill and my nasal spray because I've had sinus issues for for my whole life since a child. This is my empties bin in case you don't know what that is. I film an empties video every couple months with all of our empty like beauty, health, hair, skincare products. I have a whole playlist in my playlist folder if you ever want to take a look, but I keep that in here because it reminds me to put everything in there when it's done. This here is all of our travel stuff. So there are three bins. I do go through these on a regular basis and I throw out anything expired or anything that's gotten weird or just old. So I'm not gonna go through every single thing in here but I will give you guys a look. And I collect these from all different places. Like these are like free samples that you get or like travel size things that you get. So I've got like all different things, um, makeup setting spray and, you know, travel size stuff. Like little bum bum creams and hand sanitizers. I've just collected it over time. And anytime we go anywhere overnight, um, I go in here first before I make a list to buy anything. So I try to use everything I can from there first, of course and filter through it and make sure anything expired and old is tossed. Hand soaps, I usually like to have a lot more hand soaps than, than this, but Bath & Body Works is closed. Um, I could order the soaps online, but I like to smell them in real life, so I'm just gonna hold out for the fact that it will hopefully be opening soon. Um, but we do have some, I've got this raw sugar hand soap that I just purchased pretty recently that I'm gonna get into pretty soon. And then I've got two Bath & Body Works soaps in the back. And once Bath & Body Works opens again, like this actual store opens, I do plan to do a big hand soap stock up and buy like 10, so we have it. Just because it might sound like a lot, but we have four sinks in our home that each have a soap at the sink. And we go through them, we wash our hands constantly, even before the pandemic, we're just big like hand soap, hand washing junkies. Backup vitamins, my women's one a day, my husband's men's one a day, a backup Smarty Pants multivitamin for my son. I like to always have one backup of our vitamins. And this caddy here are shaving related things. This I got a long time ago in like a Walmart beauty box. I've never used it, but I think I might just see if my mom wants it. And then in here are just refill razor cartridges. So like the, you know, the refill heads. So this will probably see if my mom wants or my sister. Um, and then these are just, I like to buy a few of these kind of razors in the warmer months because like most of you, I shave my legs a lot more in the warmer months. So I just got these Skintimate razor packs um, and this will last me the whole, you know, spring and summer, I hope. And then if not, I have some refills back there. In this corner here, let me move this stuff. 
I've got another bin, metal bin, and this is all of our different wipes. So it's mainly like makeup removing wipes. I just got these recently. And then there's things like hand wipes, um, different facial wipes, uh, and then there's like the Kleenex wipes hiding in the back, antibacterial wipes, you guys get the point. Um, this purple one is face and hand wipes, like for your, it's like toddler wipes, but I, we use them for our hands. I always have wipes on me at all times, every handbag, my vehicle, I have wipes in the middle console. We use them all the time, we're also big wipe junkies, but most of you know that as well. Um, I've got my saline packets here because I have to do a sinus wash, rinse my sinuses every single morning. So this is like all my supplies for that. I've got Kleenex, wet wipes, individual packs here. Um, I've got acetone to remove like gel polish, regular nail polish remover to remove regular polish that I just kind of keep in that corner. And then moving down to the next shelf, which is my fullest shelf right now. Okay, so I've got, a lot of it's self-explanatory, deodorant. My husband's deodorants, my deodorant's behind there. These are a couple um, facial products that I'm going to be trying out. This is the Murad Essential C Cleanser, and then a toner here. So, like, in back of this are things like eye makeup remover and anything, like, makeup removing or cleansing related. Um, and then I've got all different things categorized. So I have a couple face scrubs here, body washes for me there. I actually have to pull this one out right now and put it into the shower. Uh, body washes for my husband and shampoos for my husband. So there's like two or three, there's two body washes and the rest are shampoos behind it, like the kind of shampoos he likes. This is kind of my son's row. So we've got this Aveeno Eczema Therapy Balm. This is almost empty, so of course I have a backup. I also have this Kopari Coconut Melt for him. And then in back is his row. So Honest Body Wash, Honest Lotions, Honest Shampoo. Um, there's like a vapor wash back there, so like all Grady related bath time hair care things. This is my row of shampoo so and conditioner. So I've got like a shampoo conditioner set here. And then if you keep moving back, it's like Aussie, Three Minute Miracle, a couple more um, bottles back there, which is like a shampoo and conditioner set, my Jergens lotions, which you guys just saw if you watched that household stock up haul. I've got a couple Garnier like my cellar waters. I'm using this one now and then I have a backup. And then in back of this are some facial scrubs, which really I should probably put those. I'll go ahead and do it now. Um, so like facial scrubs and these scrubs here, my husband and I can use anything in that row. They're kind of just like unisex scrubs. So my cellar water, these are just like some little sample packets of these simple, um, hydrating light moisturizer. Someone gave me these. I don't remember who pretty recently. I think it was one of my coworker friends, but, um, I actually have been using this on Grady's face. It's like a hydrating light moisturizer. Um, a couple little like random things back there you're not missing anything guys like shave gel a couple random like maybe body sprays um extra shave gel for my husband that kind of thing so we're pretty stocked for this season you know spring and summer and then let me pull this stool out moving down to the next row wipes i'm a wipes junkie i have been forever i even have a video from like seven years ago i did on wipes like tons of different wipes i love them i really really like these Aveeno baby wipes. Super expensive, so I don't buy them all the time, but I really like them. Um, and then I really like the Pampers Complete Clean. I think this is the sensitive one, maybe? I can't remember, but it's like a specific one. It's this specific one that I really like. I also like the Pampers Pure wipes, but they've been out of stock like forever. So luckily I've had these before the pandemic, so I've just been using them sparingly so I don't have to worry about trying to find more since there aren't any. Overflow paper towels, which we use um, for like cleaning, you know, the windows, the mirrors, normal paper towel stuff. This corner is kind of a hodgepodge of like a couple candle stands. Um, I have my Young Living diffuser. I have another oil diffuser here. Um, and my son likes this wooden one in his room sometimes, and that's my Young Living one. Um, and then I think back there there's a box that has just some essential oils in it. So pretty minimal. And then the bottom part, which is the floor 
um, I keep a basket of overflow bath towels in here. We just choose to roll them. They just work better that way. Hand towels in this middle basket. I try to switch out our bath towels and hand towels on a regular basis um, just because it feels sanitary and, you know, towels smell. They get like that water smell, you know, the drying water smell, mildewy smell. So I'm constantly rotating them. That basket are things like um, clippers uh, for my husband to cut his hair or my son's hair, um, a flat iron, a curling wand, a blow dryer. It's all in that cluster right there. That's just an extra toilet paper holder. We never use it anymore. I should probably give that away as well. Uh, extra Clorox wipes here. And then I keep our extra mouthwashes here. I don't know. They're just kind of heavy and bulky and I could put them up here, but they just live on the bottom. So I've got an extra mouthwash for my husband and I and an extra mouthwash for my son. I like to always have backup mouthwashes. Um, Clorox wipes. I got this in like a five pack, I think. So these are the backups. We have the other two. One's in our bathroom sink behind me and one's upstairs in our master bathroom. Um, even though we have a master bathroom, I use this bathroom a lot more. Um, and then we always, I keep my son's like bath stuff on the bottom. Um, I really like the Dr. Teal's foaming bath brand. Um, it's a really, really good like bubbly bubble bath and the bubbles actually last. So yeah. Bubble bath, Epsom salt. This is the, um, like a foot soak, but it's just an Epsom salt. I just pour it in the, um, bathtub with my son and he loves it. So yeah, and then the stool that I was just sitting on just lives there. We really don't use it because my son is like almost as tall as me. Um, but we've had this for years since he was a toddler and he had to stand on a stool to like brush his teeth. But I just keep it because sometimes I need to like reach something high up, um, and it just comes in handy. But yeah, that's everything organizationally in our main bathroom, I guess. Um, like I said, I really don't use the master bathroom very much except like to brush my teeth or go to the bathroom. We actually have a shower in the master bathroom that I have never used. We've lived here over two years. I've never ever used it. I only, I always use our main shower. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this video into my playlist under like home organization and cleaning. Um, I have a lot of videos in that playlist, but most of them are from my old house because I haven't done that many since I moved in this house. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.